Am I the asshole? For buying a PS5 for my daughter when my ex asked me not to? My ex and I have a 14 year daughter together. She also has two more kids who are 16M and 11F. We have 50 50 custody. Here is the problem. My daughter loves gaming. She has been begging her mom and I to buy her a PS5. I bought one for her a few weeks ago but I didn't give it to her right away. I decided to wait until after an important and difficult exam that she had and give it to her as a prize for getting an A in that exam which I knew she would. A few days ago my ex called me and asked me not to buy a PS5 for my daughter as apparently she has been gloating to her siblings and making them jealous because their parents are financially struggling and they can't have as many privileges as my daughter. My ex gave me a long lecture about how she doesn't deserve another privilege because of her behavior. I told her I will consider it but I didn't promise anything. Well, she got her exam results a couple of days ago and not only she got an A, she was the only A in her grade. I was extremely proud and decided that she deserves getting her new PS5 and gave it to her. Yesterday I took her to her mom's home and a few minutes after I left my ex called screaming at me asking me why I did it when she specifically asked me not to do it. She thinks I'm a huge asshole for doing this but I think as her dad, I should be able to decide it what my daughter does, or does not, deserve and my ex doesn't have the right to tell me what to do. Info does she use the PS at your home, or did she take it with her? Not the asshole. PS5 needs to stay at your house. Your ex can call the shots in her own home. I would like to know what kind of gloating. Is this I am super excited I'm getting a PS5 or is this the I got a PS5 and you don't? Is it also at her mom's house so she can share? Info why didn't you mention you had already bought one and it's too late? I mean it is kinda sucky to first tell her you'd consider it and then do differently without even mentioning it. Would have been super easy to give your ex a heads up and your daughter a talk about behavior. Not the asshole. Your ex's situation is not your or your daughter's to manage. You might want to have a chat with her about gloating over her half-siblings though, that's toxic behavior that should be nipped in the bud. You left it out of the post that you sent the PS5 to the ex's house with your daughter, knowing it would piss her off. Don't do that shit, that's terrible co-parenting. PS5 can stay at your house. You'll have 50-50, so it's fine. And if your daughter is really being a brat to her half-siblings, might wanna nip that in the bud too. You're the asshole for not just keeping the console at your house. You did it to make your ex mad which is just immature. I guess I'll go against the grain and say you're the asshole. Although you are separated, you can still parent your child together. You could have at least given a heads up to your ex. And talk to your daughter first about the concerns. NTA for giving her the actual PS5, but huge you're the asshole for how you handled this. The trust that was left between you and your ex is way less now. You're the asshole, not for buying it, but for taking it to the exes. You've got 50-50 custody, PS5 stays with you, she uses it there, no drama ensues. You took it there strictly to gloat and stir shit up, hence the you're the asshole. If it stays at your house not the asshole. If it goes with her, you're the asshole. What happens at your house is your biz. You're the asshole, not for buying her a PS5 provided you spoke to her about not gloating to the other kids, but because you brought it to her mother's home. You have the right to decide to buy it for her but her mother has the right to not allow it at her home. That is quite literally flaunting it in front of her siblings. You'll have 50-50 custody. Why on earth would you send it back to her mom's? And with the way your daughter's been acting it sounds like you need to have a stern talk with her my dude. Should've left it at your house keep it there to avoid drama. Not the asshole for buying it, you're the asshole for sending it to ex's house. My ex and I split time and I always tell my kids your mom's house, your mom's rules. My place, my rules. My daughter wanted a drum set for Christmas, her mom said no. So she asked me and I said yes, 
it stays at my place. My son wanted Oculus, mom said not at her place because he doesn't keep his room clean and spends too much time gaming. So I got it but it stays at my place and he can't use it during the week. One question, does the PS5 stay at your house? If it's at your house, the ex has zero say. The child should not have it at her house. As for the gloating, you may want to work on that because your child is an asshole and needs to learn not to be. I'm a single solo dad myself, Bop. The only reason I would say you're the asshole is because of her behavior towards others. If she didn't act like that, I would 100 be on your side. What she is doing is bullying her siblings, and that shouldn't be tolerated at all. My oldest daughter is a student as well and I reward her for that also but if I ever found out she was bullying anyone not just siblings she would lose a lot more than just a game console. I can understand that you had bought it and everything but it should have been kept at your house. Huge you're the asshole. You're the asshole. You taught your daughter good grades and money are more important than being a good bloody decent person. It was a damn exam, there's no exam as important for a teenager that deserves a PS5, much less if she's developing a disgusting personality. That's called being a crap parent. If you have a 50-50 custody why didn't you just keep the PS5 at your house? Why take it to your ex's house? She specifically asked you not to and gave you the reasons why. You chose to do it anyway. So in this case, yes, you are the R. Sorry. I watched a lot of videos of American children on Facebook, just random videos from America. What's special with PS5? Why every child really want it so bad? You can do whatever you want in your home but if she took it to mom's house it definitely impacts the siblings there. Hopefully she shares otherwise in this purative cooperation I'd say keep it at your house. Otherwise as reigning parent in her home ex could just take it away. Natar. You're the asshole because you know the ex specifically opposed this then instead of calling ahead and saying sorry but this is happening you willfully let your daughter take that initial explosion head on, then came in to clean up after you got the obvious to expect call from the ex. You're the asshole for letting her bring it. You know he can be mad if it eds up broken, or she's forced to share. Her mom obviously didn't want it at her house, you should have respected that. Info is your daughter actually gloating to her siblings? It's one thing to tell her siblings about the PS5 because she's excited and wants to share the news, but it's something else entirely if she's telling them specifically to make them jealous because she has something they don't. Not the asshole for buying. You're the asshole for letting your daughter take it with her in your ex house. You're the asshole, not for buying the PS5 but you should have keep it in your house, why is necessary to take it to the mom house when she is being a brat to her siblings. Die you at least have a conversation with your daughter regarding her behavior? Info are you keeping the PS5 at your place?